one happening. Just pull the sides. Go wrong. This has to be the right way. Oh, me. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how'd they do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a Sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the base. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Welcome home, Nanaki. It is beautiful. known for quite a while, hasn't she? Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. <laughs> but I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. <laughs> Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Reeve. Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our mock with consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge.
I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. May the planet watch over and keep you. Something about this. Mm -hmm. What's up? Um, you a customer? Watcher of the Veil, like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but. This is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Bugenhagen? I see. So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? Let's ask Bugenhagen. To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then, we can see the sights. interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother.
turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. It's our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard! Whew. That was a close game, but I did it. Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my legs intact. Tay Shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Uh, I'm not really the resident shark. More coming your way. I'm not even from here. I'm from... 
Congratulations, you have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud, Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. Hmm. It presently resides in the dust bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. Going up. Bugenhagen. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. Looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Malachi here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Malachi? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Riding on the giant materia, the same that the weapons have inside them? Somewhere? Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. are testing the pull of gravity. Sorry. Didn't mean to. We've all been worried sick about Monarchy. Fellow Bugenhagen chiefly among us. Monarchy. Oh, you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. He's really messed up. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. Though I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. All right, okay, sorry. I know. 
ever thought you could become even more enchanting? This is a truly lovely track. Hearing it just brings tears to my eyes. Telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Coral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Fascinating account. Were it true? It is true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. What's the idea? Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. What is that? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Behold. 
home. The planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The, the body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? I guess we go with them. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance.
Just lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Already I feel the planet's essence move. They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked in the world to the universe? So many seminars. Where do I even start? A seminar is in progress. Please I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... he... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I... Uh, where to begin? fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict, a war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. There is no seminar. I think meditation is. <laughs> it's so great learning about the planet. I ask you this. I joined the. We yearn to chase the horizon. 
wheresoever it takes you. So, I thought this might come a little later, like after, after the whole quest line with Naki into the G tribe area. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. I had the pleasure talking to a mentor, said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself with filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I... I feel like it'll burst, but when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Okay. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Put your faith in our grief. So Aerith leading the ceremony. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. 
I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. I just wish I could see something like that in real life for once. Aside from media. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. 
Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. Go to the DRG village. <laughs> well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a try to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the flame, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go. We follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him, Barrett. Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I'm just gonna.
that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out.